it turns out that a lot of people have inexplicably vanished throughout history. Some were renowned before they went missing and became even more famous afterwards, while others became famous just because they disappeared. In this video, we will show you 10 missing people that were never found. Let's begin. Number 10. Al-Hakim Al-Hakim was a Fatima dynasty monarch noble for his unstable and conflicting leadership from the 10th to 11th centuries. He ruled for 25 years, 996 to 1021, of his known 36 years, during which time he established a generous policy to support the poor, only to follow it with some astonishingly harsh or strange edict such as forbidding women from leaving their homes and then forbidding cobblers from making or selling women's footwear. In February 1021, Al-Hakim rode out of Cairo. He was never seen or heard from again, and his body was never discovered. Number 9. Ambrose Bierce Ambrose Bierce was a newspaper and short story writer best known for his satirical column Prattler, which appeared in a number of West Coast newspapers including the San Francisco Examiner. He served in and survived the American Civil War, married, and had three children. While continuing to write newspaper columns, he also published several novels and short tales as well as The Devil's Dictionary a book of social criticism disguised as a collection of dark and amusing definitions for well-known phrases. During the Mexican Revolution, he fled the United States to Mexico in 1913. After December of that year, there remains no record of him, though numerous theories have been put forth over the past century. Number 8. Harold Holt, former Prime Minister of Australia Harold Holt was infamously quiet for a politician, preferring the opportunity to swim and fish in the water away from the public glare. When he went missing off Cheviot Beach in Victoria in mid-December 1967, one of the greatest search missions in Australian history was initiated. Conspiracy stories abounded. He fled with a mistress, was taken by the Chinese, and was slain. He is believed to have drowned in the raging waves but his corpse was never located despite a large search. Number 7. Peter Winston, Chess Prodigy Young Peter Winston, once considered a budding talent in the pawn-eat-pawn -pawn realm of competitive chess, flopped in a 1977 competition at Hunter College High School in New York. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia and manic depression at the time, and he was grappling with the medicines used to treat his diseases. He vanished a few months later, in early 1978. Many believe Winston committed suicide because he was frustrated by his inability to sustain his once promising game. However, his corpse was never discovered. He was 19 years old when he vanished. Number 6. Wallace D. Fard Wallace D. Fard, the founder of the Nation of Islam, rose from being a silk peddler on the streets of Detroit to becoming a preacher and self-identified savior of the African-American people. He had a short but influential stint as the outspoken NOI leader in Detroit from 1930 to 1934, with a number of run-ins with the law during that time. Very little documented biographical information about him exists, though several stories about his origins circulate. He claimed to have been born in Mecca, though the FBI's findings suggest that he was born in New Zealand and led the life of a minor scofflaw once he arrived in the United States. He disappeared in 1934. Often referred to as the Prophet and thought to be the incarnation of Allah by followers of the Nation of Islam, he is celebrated each year on February 26th, Savior's Day. Number 5. Ray Grikar former Pennsylvania DA. In April 2005, the longtime district attorney for Center County, Pennsylvania, some 230 miles west of New York City, told his girlfriend he was going for a drive, jumped in his car, and was never heard from again. None of the prosecutions that Ray Grecar led seemed likely to spark an angry response. His car was found with a cell phone inside it, but no signs of foul play were uncovered. 
His bank accounts and credit cards were never used again. His laptop went missing and was later discovered, but yielded no leads. He finally was declared legally dead in 2011. He'd be 75 today. Number 4. Nicholas Begich and Thomas Hale Boggs, U.S. Congressman What happened to Begich, a member of the House of Representatives from Alaska, and his Democratic colleague Boggs, the House Majority Leader from Louisiana, seems like an obvious plane crash. On a fundraising trip in Alaska in 1972, they were on a small plane from Anchorage to Juneau when the plane and everyone on board disappeared over the Shugash Mountains. More than 100 planes, 40 military aircraft, and hundreds of boats began a search that lasted more than a month. No trace of the plane or people were ever found, and the National Transportation Safety Board was unable to determine what happened. The Boggs and Baggage Peaks were dedicated in their memories in 1977. Number 3. Edward and Stefania Andrews, Chicago Couple On the verge of retirement, Edward, an accountant, and his wife, Stefania, a credit investigator, were at a cocktail party at the Sheraton Hotel in Chicago in May 1970. When they left the party rather abruptly, they were banging the door on their car on the way out of the parking garage. They reportedly turned the wrong way on a one-way street and poof. The working theory is that they made a wrong turn and ended up in the Chicago River. But their car, despite several searches, was never found. Other leads have gone nowhere. More than 45 years later, Arlington Heights police are still investigating. Number 2. Rico Harris Rico Harris was a massive 6 foot 9 inch former Harlem Globetrotter basketball player who had drug issues earlier in his life but had made a full recovery and was getting his life back on track. He was driving along California's Interstate I-5 from his home in Southern California to Seattle to live with his girlfriend. He was somewhere just north of Sacramento, exhausted, and told his girlfriend over the phone that he wanted to check out the mountains. All calls stopped since then. His car was found a couple days later by a patrolman near a rest stop in the mountains. A massive search was launched. No signs of him. The strangest part? A driver late had reported seeing a massive 6 foot 9 inch individual wandering down the highway just a mile from where the car was found. A week later. A search was relaunched. Massive size 17 footprints were found in the ground that were not there before. They were getting very close. And then, nothing. No trace. No body. Nothing. Where did Rico go the first time he disappeared? Where was he for an entire week? And where did he disappear to again? The fact that someone could disappear twice is what makes this so mystifying. Number 1. Tara Calico On September 20th, 1988, in Belen, New Mexico, she went for her daily bike ride and never came back. Her mom actually used to accompany her on these rides but stopped because she felt like she was being stalked by a driver. She tried to get Tara to carry mace but Tara refused. That day, her mom set out to look for her along the trail and didn't find her. She only found pieces of Tara's Walkman and a cassette tape. Several people saw Tara riding her bike, which has never been found, but no one witnessed her abduction, although they did see a light-colored pickup truck following her. On June 15, 1989, a Polaroid photo of a young woman and a boy, bound and gagged, were found in a convenience store parking lot in Florida. The photo was thought to have been taken after May 1989 because the type of film was not available until then. Tara's mom thought the woman in the photo was Tara given a similar scar on her leg from a car accident. The boy was thought to be the missing Michael Henley, also of New Mexico, but that later proved to be as untrue as Henley's remains were later found in the forest a few miles from a campsite from which he had disappeared in 1990. More photographs have surfaced of a female bound and gagged, but they haven't been released to the public. The female in the photos has been suspected to be Tara, but the boy remains unidentified. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, 
then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon in another video.